Hello everyone, this is Hiratmania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, the party went through the tunnel to All Trades, but instead of All Trades, they've emerged in All Blades Arena. An underground arena. Fortunately, they did get their powers back. So, let's check out All Blades. Antidotal Herb. 50 Gold. Now, let's check out here. What is this place, and what's it doing underneath the Abbey? Wah! Everyone around here looks really mean and scary. Welcome to All Blades Arena. Think of it as the second great test for those who've succeeded in stealing their fellow human souls. A second great test? Haven't we been through enough already? I hate this place. I want to go home. A shopkeeper. Weapons and armor. Chain whip. How about a chain whip for Maribel? Steel fangs for Ruff. I have a steel broadsword. A silver platter for Maribel. And a pirate's hat for Ruff. Thank you, sir. So, have a pirate's hat, Ruff. <coughs> and hold on to some steel fangs. Hello. The monsters kept their promise and gave us back our spells and abilities, but now they won't let us leave the Abbey. I should have known better than to trust those horrible creatures. Yes, you should have. Hello. Want to know how to get out of this place? Certainly. There's one way, and one way only. Fight it out in the arena. Win five battles in a row, and you'll get to what they call the final showdown. Defeat your last opponent there, and the high priest who's running the place will let you go. That's what they say, anyway. Do you trust them? I don't. An empty pot. Now, how about in here? Hello, cat mage. Hee hee hee. So, do you want to hear the rules or what? Sure. Each battle is a four-on-four -four fight to the death. And don't expect any breathing time between bouts. As soon as one finishes, the next one will be the next one will start. To emerge from the arena victorious, you have to win six battles in a row. Slip up even once, and you'll and you'll be out on your ear. Succeed, and you will be granted your freedom by the ever benevolent Cardinal Sin, true High Priest of All Trades Abbey. So Cardinal Sin is going to grant us our freedom, is he? Ha! Huh, I'll believe that when I see it. It sounds like Cardinal Sin is the big baddie behind this. If we can get rid of him, 
Maybe all the other monsters will give up and go home. Hopefully. So, humans, are you ready for the challenge of the arena? Certainly. Heh <laughs> heh, do you take me for a fool? I can count, you know. You need four members in your party to compete in the arena. Come back when there's enough of you. Until then, stop wasting my time. Kiefer? Oh, hello, Eustace. Damn these monsters! Is there no end to their depravity? No sooner had they chased us out, than they completely rebuilt this place. I was certain that good old All Trades Abbey was waiting for us on the other side of that cave, but no such luck. Did the monsters build this whole arena themselves? That's a lot of work. I couldn't believe it either. I was sure we were going to come out in the middle of the Abbey. Oh, hello again. Ah, I know you. It's nice to see some familiar faces. You're the travelers who witnessed my triumph back in Pilgrim's Perdition. Yes, it's all coming back to me. You saw that rather dramatic scene with the brother and sister. I failed to steal his soul, if you recall. Well, the drama continues. The sister is now determined to face me in the arena and avenge her brother. Does she really think she stands a... Does she really think she stands a chance against a hero in the making like me? What a ridiculous thought! Um, did Nava learn to fight since we last saw her? If she didn't, she won't stand a chance. What? Nava's going to fight in the arena? But, but she can't fight. She's not well. I've seen that warrior in action. It's truly a joy to behold. I've never seen such power or such silky sword skills. It's no wonder he managed to get the better of Strom at his thugs and steal all those souls. <coughs> Hello. Zev was reunited with his sister, but it was obvious he didn't like what he saw. She's a different person now. I remember how she looked after me when I had my soul stolen. Oh, she was so kind. She's not like that now. What has happened to her? Ah, the arena. Curse these monsters. Look at them, enjoying the sight of us humans fighting. It's just sport to them. We're not fighting for fun. We're fighting for our freedom. Have you seen the female warrior who wields the Soul Stealer? She's amazing. She can hold her own against anyone, man or beast. After I had my soul stolen back in Pilgrim's Perdition, I lost consciousness. When I came to, the monsters had brought me here. Ever since, I've been a general dog's body, taking care of whatever odd jobs need doing. Anyone who wields the soul stealer for long enough will be possessed by it. They lose their mind and eventually die in agony. You'd do well to remember that. That sword is not something anyone should rely on. It's demonic, and will destroy all those it touches. So somebody's brought the Soul Stealer here. Well, whatever weapon they've got, they'll be no match for me. That's us, Ruff. The humans fighting it out over there have all had their powers restored at the Sacred Altar. Use any weapon in battle, and it will pick up nicks, scratches, and cracks. The Soul Stealer is no different, except it's human souls that are being damaged. Could that be why the people who wield it become so unstable? Perhaps they're, perhaps they're channeling the anguish of the tormented souls inside it. A lot of the fighters in the arena are our victims, the people whose souls we stole to get here. Some of them were lucky and managed to recover, but not all of them. When you see them slugging it out like that, you realize what a war you realize what a warlike species humanity really is.
So, that's the wonderful arena. Hello, priest. How long can this futile contest continue? I know that deep down everyone is as desperate as me to rise up and escape this place. But just the thought of the terrible consequences if we failed... <laughs> no wonder we cower and do nothing. Only those who have achieved victory in the arena may pass. If you wish to leave this place, I am afraid you will have no choice but to win the tournament or perish in the attempt. Yahaha! Most folks who go into most folks who go into the arena take monsters with them instead of humans. It's sad to say, but we don't trust each other enough to join forces. Ain't no such thing as trust down here. I know we've got weapons, and we're back to full strength, but we can't just go starting a rebellion. I mean, unless the others were willing to rise up and take on the monsters too, we'd just be sacrificing ourselves in vain. An empty barrel? Hello. We've got weapons. We've got our powers back. I mean, what's stopping us? But no, no one's going to take a cup. No one's going to take up arms against the monsters, not unless something happens to set everyone off. A medicinal herb? Hello. You've got to promise not to breathe a word of what I tell you to anyone, okay? All right. Well, I know the reason why the monsters wanted to steal our spells and abilities. They've got a plan to channel human power and use it to revive someone called the Demon King. Well, well. But you can't let on you know about it. They're bound to find out it's me who spilled the beans, and I'll end up paying with my life. The monsters are trying to revive the Demon King. We've got to stop them. Yes, the Demon King again. Ah, the Abbey. Hello, Fingers. Even a master thief like me wouldn't stand a chance of getting that door open. Looks like the only way out of here is to win the is to win that arena thingy. And here was me thinking that Fingers' criminal talents might finally come in handy. What kind of thief can't pick a lock? <clears throat> the door appears to be locked from the other side. So we cannot go through there yet. And we'll need a fourth person to enter the All Blades Arena contest. Now let's check in here. Nava's getting worse and worse, you know. She she should never have picked up that soul stealer. Ah, she was such a sweet, good-natured girl not so long ago. I wouldn't dare tell her that now. It's my dream to win big in the arena and finally escape this place. I've got a wife and kids waiting for me at home, you know. I can't sleep at night fretting about them. <coughs> Nothing gets past me, you know. I know Nava only took up the Soul Stealer so she, so she could avenge her brother. Phew, I made it to the wall just in time. I thought I was going to wet my bridges. Hmm, what's that? My trousers are looking a little damp, you say? Oh, that's obviously sweat. I raced here as quick as I could, you see, to avoid any accidents, you understand. Ahem. Hmm. Scale armor. No, we don't need this.
I see Zev, and there's Nava. Come on, sis. You know how I hate to s you know how I hate to see you wielding that sword. <coughs> Why don't you hand it over? I can use it to give you your soul back. No, don't even think about coming any closer. Why don't you just leave me alone? Can't you see? I chose this fate. I wanted to fight in the arena. I was hoping someone would finally put me out of my misery. Then I could finally be free of this useless body. It's not like it's going to last long anyway. This isn't like you, sis. No matter how, th no matter how bad things got, you never gave in to despair before. This isn't you talking. It's that damned soul stealer. That's what's ma that's what's making you like this. Come on, give it to me. No, just leave me alone. I'm sick of the sight of you. Now get out of here before I steal your soul too. Wow, Nava, you don't know what you're saying. Listen to you. Not so fast. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I were you. Just remember, it was Nava who chose to take up the Soul Stealer and compete in the arena. No one forced her. We only spared her life because she came out and said she wanted to do, and said she wanted to do it. We thought it would be funny to watch her fight. Now no one's going to deny us our fun. She's ours, and anyone who tries to take her will pay with their life. Sorry, Zev. I feel sorry for Nava, but I feel even worse for Zev. Poor Zev. He looked like he was about to cry. Just remember, it was Nava who chose to take up the Soul Stealer and compete in the arena. No one forced her. We'll see about that. Seeing Nava like this is just so sad. They don't care about Nava. They're just using her as a plaything. I know they're monsters, but seriously. Heh <laughs> heh. Nava has only one goal, and that's to steal the soul of the warrior who did the same to her brother. She's willing to fight all day, every day, in order to hone her skills so she can take him on. M my chest hurts. L leave me alone, will you? Time to find poor Zev. To think of Nava competing in some sort of fighting contest, it beggars belief. Well, she's doing it, and that's why I have no choice but to fight too. As things are now, I'll never be able to get close to her, not with those monsters surrounding her. I see. So you plan to take the Soul Stealer from your sister in the heat of battle, and use it to restore her soul, just as I did to you. Of course, and if it works as it did before, she'll return to her old self. Excellent, I'll join you. No, how many times? I don't need your help, I can save my sister on my own. Come on, Zev. Curse that boy. He really doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. This is hardly the time to be throwing tantrums. There's only one thing we can do to help Nava now enter the arena, win our freedom, and shut, and shut this whole rotten place down. Ugh, but we need four people to enter the arena, don't we? Who can we ask to join? Who can we ask to join us? We've got to do something, Davalos. We've got to save Nava. Zev doesn't trust many people, but I believe he trusts you. You must try to convince him to join forces with you. I know it's a lot to ask, but he clearly won't let me help him, and on his own, he'll only get himself killed. Please, you have to help. Certainly, Eustace. He isn't one to show his feelings, but it's obvious that Eustace is worried about Zev, too. Leave it to us, right, Davalos? 
Yes, indeed. That's not lava. That's not lava, is it? Inside the arena, Davalost and, Davalost and company find Zev and Nava having yet another argument. It turns out that Nava has now taken up the Soul Stealer. The Blade's foul powers are making her act like another person altogether. Is there some way of saving her? Browing it alone. Heh <laughs> heh. Zev decides that the only way to rescue Nava is to fight her in All Blades Arena. It seems his plan is to seize the Soul Stealer while they fight and use it to stab her and restore her soul. Eustace offers to help him, but Zev won't hear of it. Can he really do this alone? Oh, Zev. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're trying to get rid of the monsters who've taken over All Trades Abbey, right? Well, if you win the, tur if you win the tournament, you'll be free to stroll right into the Abbey and take them down. And I need to take part in the tournament, too, so I can save my sister. So, what do you say? Fancy joining forces? Absolutely, Zev. We're, really? You will? F thank you! We're fighting for different reasons, but we both need to win. Let's get to work. So, Zev joins up. Welcome, Zev. Great. Now we've got four fighters, we'll have no trouble saving Nava. I wanted to save Nava all by myself, without having to rely on anyone else's help. But the way things are now, I'll take any help I can get. Oh, will you now? That's not what you said to Eustace. But that's different. I could never fight alongside him. He can't be trusted. A sweaty arena is no place for someone as refined and elegant as me, but if that's what it takes to get out of this hellhole... It's tournament time. Zev teams up with our heroes and sets out to save his sister by fighting her in All Blades Arena. And winning the tournament will also allow the party to access All Trades Abbey and rid it of its monstrous interlopers. Determined to save both Nava and the Abbey, the party and Zev step out into the arena. If you can infiltrate the Abbey, it will just be a question of defeating the so-called High Priest the monsters, answer, the monsters answer to. Meanwhile, I will do all I can. Meanwhile, I will do what I can to fan the flames of descent here and see if I can destabilize things from within. Fanning the flames of descent here, I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect too much from this lot. Humph, Eustace can do what he wants. I'll show him. I can save my sister on my own. On your own, eh? So I suppose you won't be needing our help then. Og, why do you always have to be so fussy? You know what I meant. Not on my actual own, just without his help. We'll meet again in the arena, sis. Stay strong until then. So, next time we'll enter the arena for a tournament. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.